Let's talk about Nicola Sturgeon, the queen of hypocrisy and virtual signaling. Once every six months, the SNP and Nicola Sturgeon come out to ask for a second Scottish referendum, despite the fact that we just had one a few years ago. And the Scottish people said no. Friends, it is time. It is time for Scotland to become independent. Now, apart from the speech, which is so repetitive because we keep hearing it every few months, uh, let's have a look at the very, very enthusiastic uh, supporters in the crowd. Yeah, I think even they're bored of just listening to the same things over and over again. Firstly, during the last Scottish referendum campaign, uh, I think it was Nicola Sturgeon herself and the rest of the SNP team that went out there and said that this is a once in a lifetime vote. The SNP have always uh, said that in our view, these kind of referendums are once in a generation events, once in a generation opportunity. Once in a generation opportunity. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Take this once in a generation, once in a lifetime opportunity. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Once in a generation thing. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Now the biggest problem with Nicola Sturgeon is that she's claiming to be the ultimate representative of the Scottish people, that she knows exactly what the Scottish people want and that she will deliver them. Now, uh, there have been a number of occasions where she has actually proved us wrong about this matter. For example, there are five points and five times when uh, Nicola Sturgeon actually either broke her promises or ignored the will of the people in Scotland. Let's start with number one. The Scottish Parliament voted uh, hugely to ban fracking in Scotland. Whether it's right or wrong, that was their decision. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon ignored it. Number two, when the SNP government started to close down certain hospitals in Scotland, people went out there and asked them to stop that push. Now what happened after was that uh, Nicola Sturgeon and her government uh, decided to ignore all the calls and all the concerns. Number three, business and economy. Now Highlands and Islands Enterprise, which supports the economic growth in the Northern Isles, Western Isles, Highlands and certain other areas in uh, the region, uh, where it became under attack uh, because of the SNP government. Uh, with the SNP government's interventionist policies, uh, essentially this uh, body became under threat in terms of their existence. However, the Scottish Parliament voted uh, to ask the government to protect uh, this body. MSPs have voted to demand the Scottish government to allow Highlands and Islands Enterprise to retain its own board. The government wants a new management body to oversee all of Scotland's enterprise and skills agencies. Opposition members say that this would be the death knell for HIE as we know it, and backed a motion asking the government to reverse its decision. And guess what Nicola Sturgeon did? Completely ignored it. Number four, education. The Scottish Funding Council, which exists to fund Scotland's further and higher education institutions, uh, became under threat uh, because of the SNP government. Essentially, the SNP government decided to uh, scrap the Scottish Funding Council. Now, once again, the Scottish people uh, kindly asked Nicola Sturgeon to reverse her policy at the time, and uh, she completely ignored every call, every petition, every email, every meeting that she was uh, re requested to attend because she didn't really care. Number five, sectarian chants at football matches. The Scottish Parliament, following a huge wave of calls from the public, uh, voted to abolish criminalising sectarian chants in Scotland. Following the introduction of the very controversial uh, Offensive Behaviour at Football Act, which was introduced by the SNP government. Now, these laws have created a huge problem when it comes to Scottish football and the public in general. Uh, when the Scottish Parliament voted to abolish criminalising sectarian chants, you would expect the Scottish government to uh, accept and actually listen to what the people uh, want. However, Nicola Sturgeon once again ignored those calls. Now this proves that Nicola Sturgeon doesn't actually care about the will of the people and parliament in Scotland. Even when you look at the latest opinion polls in Scotland that ask the Scottish public if there were to, uh, to be another independence referendum, uh, how would you actually vote? And 51% uh, said that they would vote for Scotland to remain in the United Kingdom. Now, Nicola Sturgeon is clearly one of the worst political leaders that Scotland, the United Kingdom, and even Western Europe have seen in a long time. Right now, Nicola Sturgeon is going around uh, and telling the Scottish people that uh, even if Brexit happens and the UK leaves the EU, uh, she's able to keep Scotland inside the European Union. However, after that promise, the European Union have responded uh, to her promise. The European Union have said to Nicola Sturgeon that once Britain is out of the EU, 
they won't pull Scotland back in. Oh, poor Nicola. Thank you again as usual for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe. Actually, I want to ask you to do one more thing. Uh, because of the YouTube's algorithm, a lot of conservative videos and channels don't really come up on a regular basis in terms of their updates. So if you want to make sure that you do see the videos coming up on your timeline, uh, click on the notification bell next to the subscribe button and uh, you will definitely, hopefully, get all the videos.